decade ago, a man's fantasy became reality in a form never seen before. Kitchen Stadium, a giant cooking arena. The motivation for spending his fortune to create Kitchen Stadium was to encounter new original cuisines, which could be called true artistic creations. To realize his dream, he started choosing the top chefs of various styles of cooking. And he named his men the Iron Chefs, the invincible men of culinary skills. Iron Chef Japanese is Roksaburo Michiba. Iron Chef French is Hiroyuki Sakai. Iron Chef Chinese is Chen Kenichi. Masahiko Kobe is Iron Chef Italian. Kitchen Stadium is the arena where Iron Chefs await the challenges of master chefs from all over the world. Both the Iron Chef and Challenger have one hour to tackle the theme ingredient of the day. Using all their senses, skills, creativity, they're to prepare artistic dishes never tasted before. And if ever a challenger wins over the Iron Chef, he or she will gain the people's ovation and fame forever. Every battle, reputations are on the line in Kitchen Stadium, where master chefs pit their artistic creations against each other. What inspiration will today's challenger bring? And how will the Iron Chef fight back? The heat will be on! Itaba, the Japanese word for kitchen. If memory serves me right, in Japan you see very few female chefs stepping into this male-dominated arena. In fact, in Japan it is nearly impossible for a female chef to get their shake at being noticed. But like a salmon swimming upstream, I have found one who has earned major recognition in Kochi Prefecture. As a chef, she is highly respected for her quality of selection, filleting fish with great speed and fluidity, leaving quite a few male counterparts behind. Let me introduce today's challenger, all the way from the western islands of Kochi, Japan's number one female chef, head chef of Yoshimite, Yoshiko Takemasa. Takemasa was born into a family running a famous hotel in Kochi, where she dreamt of becoming a chef as a young child. At 17, she knocked on the door of Toshiro Kandagawa's restaurant in Osaka. She was trained as just one of many apprentices, with no special treatment as a teenage girl. I knew that uh, doing things the same way that the guys did so it wouldn't make me a good chef. So I always got up while the guys were still sleeping and uh, snuck out to the markets, you know, to learn more about uh, handling fish and stuff. I stopped being a woman. I had to become like a man, you know. At age 37, she returned to Kochi to fulfill her lifelong dream and opened her own restaurant. Extremely fastidious about ingredients, she refuses to use fish caught by nets because of the damage to the flesh and insists on using fish caught on single line rods only, often jumping on board the fishing boats herself. Her dishes succeed because of the care in the selection of ingredients, as well as the culinary secrets handed down to her from Kandagawa. As you can see, you know, I'm uh, not much of a looker. I mean, let's face it. So uh, the only thing I have left really is uh, taste to impress people with, you know. That's it. Well, she's a gutsy lady, let me tell you. I've hit her in the head. I hit her in the head with the back of my knife. But she never gave up. She was determined to become a chef. Now this lady has got guts. So now, Madame Takemasa, do justice to your name of the best that Kochi has to offer. I want to win. I want to win. <laughs>
Like a continuing series of installments in a drama, Toshiro Kandagawa, his influence being felt here once again. Appropriate then, our guest today, film director Nagisa Oshima. Welcome. Good evening. Oshima-san, Japanese, Chinese, French cuisines, which one do you like best? Japanese food, for sure. All right, then today's challenger should please your palate, so enjoy her dishes. Thanks. Okay, and our commentator, as always, is Dr. Yukio Hatori Duck. Always a pleasure. Okay, let's bring on Chairman Kaga.料理店の厨房では家庭の台所と違い女性の姿を見かけることはほとんどありません今日の挑戦者は四国で一の女性の板前料理界の常識を大きく覆してもらおうではありませんかさあ皆さん大きな拍手でお迎えください高知吉見定
I always say chefs who make great food have a tasty face, and uh, she fits my standard, I'd say. Pretty interesting. <laughs> you just come up with that? It sounds like a proverb of some sorts. Okay, right now you can see them sorting the moat in terms of size, right? And uh, there's a reason for this, because technically clams are best from fall to spring, right? right? But nowadays, it's like fish farming. Uh -huh. They release baby clams all throughout the year. Oh, is that so? Right. So at Lake uh, Hamana, they can ship these clams out any time of the wow. year. Wow. And the only problem... The problem is the sizes are rather inconsistent. Oh, Kuzan. That's why. From the floor, reporter Shinichiro to go. You win the short neck clams rising up out of the floor. Both chefs began to complain that they were unshelled in the challenger. Takemasa was obviously expecting something else. You probably know her drop her head when the theme was announced. Right, mm. sure did. She seemed very disappointed and uh, when the clams were unveiled, so both sides complaining about that. And what's what's that about, Doc? It's just a matter of time, basically. It takes a little longer having to remove the meat from the shells. Oh, right? uh, okay. Uh, Prep work then. And you also need to be quite experienced to do it quick enough, especially okay, for a one-hour battle. so that's yeah. why. Yeah, you could uh, use up a lot of time if you're not good at it. Don't want to do that. No, so your best solution, of course, is to have several dishes that don't require removing the shells, right? That's right, one way right. around it. Yeah. Okay, so both sides, the chefs on both sides, knee-deep in it, their uh, preparation work, and this is Takamasa's side, long pieces of some kind of vegetable. Right, that's uh, zuiki, I think. Okay. Uh, it's the stem of a taro potato. All right. Yeah, so they yeah. use the stem of a potato plant right, or, right, or yes. the taro potato. I'm sure, Oshima-san, you've had this before. Yes, people in Kyoto eat this a lot. It's big down there? Yes, yes. And uh, also the southern island of Kyushu, they grow this a lot. Okay, there. and she's got some rice there oh, on okay, the challenger yeah. side. Oh, that'd be nice to have it steamed with uh, clams, yeah. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Okay, now right. here on Chen's side, rice, wine being added, I believe. Right, uh, a Chinese liqueur yeah. or something. Okay. Yeah. Boiling them in water there. And, mm -hmm. and I imagine he's closely monitoring the level of the heat being applied there. And have to assume he'll have one dish with some hot bean paste. <laughs> I'm sure that will happen, yeah. And the one you see here is stewed with regular mm, potatoes. Wasabi and potatoes. That looks Kuzan. really good. Yes. I asked Starting Chef Chen how he feels about clams. He said, I'm pretty good with them, but timing is important. You can easily overcook them. And the flavor can change if you leave them too long before serving. Uh -huh. So you've really got to watch it when you're cooking them. Right. And also f when you're looking for the quality of the shells. The ones that open up when you cook, they're okay. But the ones that stay closed, that means that they were actually dead before you right. got to it, yeah. So it's very basic, but you actually see a lot of young people today don't really understand that. We're here to educate. Yeah, we just want to make sure no one gets food Kuzan. poisoning tonight. Right, go. I asked Challenger Takemasa her impressions of Iron Chef Chen, and she said he's such a great chef that all I can do is do my best to win and hope that he makes some mistakes along the way. She's sounding very humble. Okay. No trash, Doc. Takemasa putting some moom, pounding on those pieces she'd cut up and put in the bowl, and now on Chen's side, shucking clams. Oh, he's opening yeah. them up now. Now yeah. hold it. These have been cooked, right? Uh, yes, they have, yeah. Okay, the cooked clams now being shelled, and I believe I heard Chen instruct the other insistents to keep the shells, don't throw them out over there. Right, and the challenger, what she was pressing there was uh, the zwicky, so salted and then pressed. Okay. Right, right, right. And okay. uh, taking some out, she had some going in the steamer as right, well. Right, already been steamed. Okay, and scallions in there too, I believe. Oh, yeah, clams and scallions, that's a great match. Works really well. Fukuzan? Yes. The ingredients in this are clams, long onions, and Chinese rice wine. Okay. Chinese liqueur, kind of like the steam dish using sake. Right, right? only using the Chinese liqueur. Okay, yeah. steam <laughs> clams for the above-aged crowd. Right, now the challenger seems to be working on, it looks like miso soup, but that seems kind of plain, doesn't miso it? Miso soup with wasabi, right. right. Oh, okay, that's what it looks like, yeah. Okay, very nondescript dish. Maybe it'd be boiled down like a paste. Could do that. Oh, that could very well be. Okay, sure. make, make an appetizer using miso paste. Right, yeah. And zuiki. Right, right, that's a possibility. And working with both of those right now, this is the miso paste. Okay, and she... Add, she'll add the boiled clams later, I think, to the appetizer, right? Okay, that, okay. That'll be so good. All right, both chefs on divergent paths in the early going. Chen and his guys have gotten into the clams. They're already cooking them, while the challenger here, still on the prep work and doing a lot of talking to her assistants. And uh, Kondagao in the background there, kind of unusual. Normally, he likes to gab, but he's been silent so far, just observing. He's kind of clammed up altogether here. <laughs> I've known him for a long time now. Yeah. We met when he was very uh, young, handsome man, uh -huh. but he's just another middle-aged man standing there. <laughs> hey, I think you got his attention. I'm young. <laughs> Getting a rise out of him there hearing that, but uh, so far nothing else. Kandagawa just observing his leading lady so far in this one.
eyes out of him there hearing that, uh, but so far nothing else. Kondagawa just observing his leading lady so far in this one. So you're saying that you think he used to be handsome? Right? I thought he should be a movie star if he couldn't cook well. <laughs> okay, guys, look at this one here on the Iron Chef side. Wok, got some broth in it, it looks like. That's what it looks like, yeah. Okay. And some chili pepper as well, I think. Mmm, man, I can make out some garlic, too. Right, yeah. yeah. Mm, enticing aroma of garlic wafting over from Chen's side. Right, so I imagine the steamed clams will go into this one. In this broth. That's right. That's that right. would be my guess at this okay, point. Okay, steamed clams into the soup. Right, yep. And 15 minutes gone, back with the challenger here. More muscle being applied to this one in the mortar. Which is miso and... And possibly sesame seeds. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, making a paste, a blend of those two. Uh, right. Blending together. Fairly, fairly orthodox combination. Okay. Yes, it is. Sesame seeds and uh, zuiki and miso rolls right off the tongue, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, I'm not quite sure about that, but... <laughs> okay, and... Uh, Kuisan? Yes, go ahead. I asked challenger Takemasa how many dishes she's shooting for today, and she said, I'm planning as I go right now. I'm not sure of the number. You'll just have to wait until the end. Okay, cooking on the fly, literally, uh, but she's going to have to soon and very soon start breaking out the clams, or that number of dishes is going to be low. Yeah. Now, let's check out Chen. Oh, look at this. The soup is being right poured there. on there. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Okay, that's not the steamed ones, The right? shelled ones. Right, right. Not sure what his uh, final intention is. Okay, but uh, for now, just soaking them in the soup. Possibly just for flavoring purposes. Could right. be. Right, right. Why he's doing this early? Yeah, maybe. And you could put the whole thing in the steamer. I think so. Go ahead. Yeah, the soup the Chen Sun just poured into this metal container was made from garlic, chili pepper, Chinese rice wine, and broth made from steaming clams in more rice wine. Okay, could be a bit on the spicy yeah, side. Yeah, it could uh -huh. be. Yeah. Now back to the challenger side Some here. Dried scallops in there, right? Oh, oh. I think those are what those are. Yeah. Yes, dried the scallops. Okay, yeah. Yeah. okay, that have been rehydrated. Mm. These. Sure, of course, yeah. And uh, the rice, though, has not been cooked no, yet. No, it's not. Still preparing it here. Right, so it'll be after cooking this. In the end, the clam's going. Right, you just don't want to overcook ah, them, right? Ah, okay, yeah, right. So that, that's the, the main thing to watch out if for. If you right? added them now, it wouldn't work. No, mm, not, not really. Not okay, really. so <laughs> she'll add the cooked clams later to the cooked right, rice. Right, and then you'll get the the aroma and everything will combine. It's Got really it. Nice, yeah. Okay, now Challenger Takemasa chopping up some lobster and exerting more <laughs> energy, <laughs> more muscle. Yes. The Challenger says the advice she got from Kanagawa-san was to forget about pretty looking formal dishes and go straight out the Iron Chef with bold and powerful local Tosa style dishes. All right, Tosa the style dishes, and uh, we can even hear her grunts as she's <laughs> getting that <laughs> nice. nice. on that lobster. And finally, Kandagawa opening up some unscripted words from the movie star could have been, Toshiro Kandagawa. All right, and uh, now back to the Iron Chef side here, boiling in the wok. Is that zucchini? Okay, chopped uh -huh, up pieces, yeah. yellow zucchini. So he's boiling them lightly, and oh, and also red bell peppers in there. Okay. Oh my, suddenly looking like Southern European colors. Yeah, almost Southern French. Okay. And the Pretty bell much, pepper yeah. sinking in there. It's like a province tile flavor. Okay. Or something. Yes. yes. Iron Chef Chen has told us that he's planning to make four or five dishes today, and this information just in that might be of interest. He now has his rice cooker up and running. All right. Thanks, big fella. Chen's going to have rice too, and a check of the steamer. Back with Takemasa, who's unloading Ooh. this one into the earthenware pot. Turned out to be a stew. Ah, a, a stew pot. Okay, but how about the clams? Mm. Mm. Well, lobster right there, definitely playing a leading role in this one. Uh, don't know yet if she's even added clams and. Now some other pieces of fish, but to clear the theme ingredient here. I mean, uh, but it will be weak. Mm, yeah, I hope she isn't uh, isn't thought you know forgot about the, the theme and using sea bass <laughs> yes. and lobster instead. They're the major components of the stew dish so far. She's going to have to feature clams in it somehow. And let's see. Kusan? Yes. Yeah, the stew pot on the challenger side contains the following ingredients so far. Lobster, sea bass, long onions, light soy sauce, and broth. But she says that she hasn't added the clams because they would become too tough if she added them right now. So the clams will have to make their appearance a little bit later back to you. Okay. Okay. That's right. Doesn't want to overcook them. Right. I think she's been listening to my comments and has taken some advice from me. Maybe. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, Doc, to make that one a clam dish, going to have to really drop a load on. Fanny. Good. True. Good. Good point. Yeah. Now, let's look at the Iron Chef here. Let's okay. Uh -huh. Zucchini, red bell peppers and edamame. Right, the soybeans. Right, 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 right. All yeah. mixed together there, a colorful okay. assortment. So clams should make it. There we go. Yep, clams there entering the fray. So is that, what, a salad, maybe? Clam salad, okay. That's almost what it looks like. Mm. Now mm. Chen really working the clams in. Mm. As we now cross the halfway point, 30 minutes gone, 30 to go, back with Takemasa, eggs and flour, or cornstarch in the mm. mixing bowl right there. Yes. The flour in the challenger's bowl is soft flour. Okay, soft flour, got it. 
All right, so what's behind that? The purpose for using that type of flower as you get a close-up of no, uh, the pretty basic activity sure, there? Sure, that, that's pretty much a given. It's just it's going to be a, a simple batter. Okay, and I guess she might be thinking about frying some clam meat, maybe like a tempura or a deep fry okay. job. Okay, Shima-san, you want to add anything to that? Uh, clams are too small to fry alone. <laughs> <laughs> Good point, good point. I have to well, agree with you on that. go it. ahead, make a call. Well, I'm thinking mix it with vegetables and then fry it afterwards, perhaps? Yeah, okay, I agree, I agree. All right, sort of like an assorted vegetable tempura offering. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure yet, but uh, that could very well be what she's preparing right now. Now, take a look at this. What's Which, that? What, what here? Is that matsutake? Oh, okay. Matsutake mushrooms there. And, okay, what's that one for? This white what's, one? Is that bamboo shoots? Uh-huh. Is it yam potato? Oh, is it really? I'm not too sure. I oh, think I, it is. I thought it was bamboo uh, shoots. Look, bamboo yes, there? Okay. Okay, and hozuki. Uh, yeah. Potato? Oh, hang on. It's a potato. <laughs> yeah, it's a sweet potato. Okay, satsuma <laughs> potatoes, <laughs> tempura then. So this will all be mixed together after being chopped up. Okay, so a mixed vegetable tempura. Okay, and with clams, and now Ota's with Kandagawa for a few words with him. You ready? Take it, big fella. Yeah, thank you. Let me ask you, Kandagawa's on. Yeah, we've been observing Challenger Takamasa, yeah. and so far clams don't seem to be the centerpiece of her dishes yet. Uh, well. No, no, no. That's stew. If you overcook yeah. the clams, they get tough. Uh -huh. She'll add them just before finishing. Uh -huh. I'm sure she's got the formula in her head. So you agree yeah. with her approach oh, Don't there. worry about it. Yeah, and then at this point, who do you think is ahead in this battle? Nah, can't really tell. Too early to uh, tell? Uh-huh. I'll have to clam up on that one, okay. <laughs> okay, and would you like to say anything to her? Okay, Takamasa, give it up! All right, and oh, it looks like she heard that, so with those encouraging words, we'll send it back to you. All Kuisan. right, Kandagawa declining to offer his assessment of who's ahead, but uh, shelling out encouragement to his lady, who cooks like a man, over the Iron Chef, and there you go. That's why he wanted those shells saved, okay. back in the salad there. Very, very yeah, that's nice. nice, isn't it? Yeah, so it's, it's actually prettier than just placing them on a spring roll sheet or something, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Bite-sized right there, but don't bite the shell of this uh, kanape. <laughs> Well, it's not really a kanafe, but... Well, at least on the show. Oh, I see, yeah. And Kanagawa-san's telling her to add more, I think. Come again now? I, I think he's just speaking to her from the sidelines there. Okay, well, uh, we'll say he's not advising her. Rather, he's just cheerleading from the sideline okay. at the edge of the kitchen as she does throw more in there. Yeah. All right. Yes. In the challenger's bowl, she has soybeans, lotus root, matsutake mushrooms, sweet potato, and corn. Sweet potatoes, okay. okay. Added some corn, didn't see that. All right. So it's, uh, no doubt, it's kakiyage, a mixed vegetable tempura. All right. And this one by the Challenger should be a real treat for sure. Uh, I'm sure it'll be lovely, yeah. We'll see if the clams are overpowered by their ingredients or not. Oh, right. Good point there, Doc. Well, if all other ingredients can highlight the clams, it will be a great, great item. Yeah. Okay, now right there, the transfer from the tray to the bowl and clam meat finally in the second half getting into the clams. Yes. Challenger Takamasa tells us that what she's making is all based on home cooking recipes that she grew up on in the Tosa region with twists and touches of her own. All right. Home cooking recipes straight ahead from the island of Shikoku and again this tough woman the top female chef there in Shikoku now back with the iron chef steamed clams that have been soaking up the soup and these two are going back on the shell there okay. after a steam and a soak right wonder what's up with that they sure do look tasty I see. Yeah. okay yeah he flavored them again is he like redoing them no, I think so. yes we saw them stuffing salad into these shells a moment ago but that was a mistake by the assistants <laughs> so now they've been told to redo it <laughs> okay so this is what he wanted and uh, they're back on the right track and what you see are marinated clams in Chinese rice wine oh, okay. okay I see Making that correction over there. A little mix up there, all right. I, I kind of like the, the bite sized salad idea myself. Well, the assistant but. now putting <laughs> things where they belong. Obviously, they had uh, misread Chen's plans there. They are now, and here's Takemasa and the Challenger's Tempura getting ready to hit the oil, and there it goes, and already has some going in there. Wow, yeah. What do you think? Possible the Tempura could be the main dish of her meal? Oh, you know, I don't know at this stage right now. She does have the stew, right? Uh, but the one with the miso paste, that can't be the main. Uh -huh. Right, well, right, she's right. laying out a whole Japanese course, like an appetizer, right. a fried dish, a stew dish, and so on, so it's kind of okay, tough to tell. Okay, now over to Chen, and this one looks like the she's so leaves, he's mixing in that one with some kind of a pasty mix. And carrots, perhaps, I believe, were in there. And like. just where is he going with this one, though? I can't tell. Yes. These are celery leaves. Okay, celery. Oh, okay. Ah, and with celery. carrots, I think. Okay, but what about uh, our theme, clams? Might add them in there. Okay, now what, what's this here? Is this these here? No, wait. No, okay. Take a look. 
Okay, that's clams, yeah? Uh, yes, they are. The oh, smallest okay. ones. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Smaller short neck clams for a deep frying, probably. So these two are doing similar things, then? Both making a deep fry with vegetables, yes. About this fried item the Niner Chef is making, he said he was intending to make clam sauce to pour over fried rice cakes, but the clams are too small, so he shifted gears and decided to make this instead. All right, thanks. Maybe the challenger's tempura gave Chen that idea. Okay, no, hang on, she's adding them in there. Unshelled. Wow, unshelled in the stew. Oh, wow. okay, wow. 15 minutes and 15 minutes left, at least it's got the appearance of a clam dish. All right, not as big as the other Yes. Dish. Once again, I asked Challenger Takimas about the number of her dishes, and she replied in her Tosa accent, most probably five. All right, we'll see if she pulls it off. But back to that stew dish, you weren't expecting that she just dumped the clams in unshelled like no, that. No, no, I, I definitely thought they'd be shelled, so she uh, she kind of shocked me with this one. Using the bigger ones of the short neck clams, uh, but not the visual impact of regular size clams, hamaguri, but that load will do the job of clearing the theme requirement, this dish from Takemasa. Using the bigger ones of the short neck clams, but not the visual impact of regular sized clams, hamaguri, but that low will do the job of clearing the theme requirement. No, no yes, doubt, yeah. yes, indeed. Kuzan? Yes. The challenger is quite pleased with this stew. She's even named it the Wild and Bold Stew. Wild and bold <laughs> and loaded with seafood, and looks like the appetizers are also ready over there. Clams are in that already, if I'm not mistaken. I think so. Yep, you can see them there. Okay, yeah, you're right. And yeah. miso paste, asadi, and zuiki. See, I told you it does roll right off the tongue. <laughs> it there. does, it does. <laughs> All right, now let's see. Chen, yes, there he goes with his veggie clam meat deep fry. His answer to the challenger's tempura. Right, this is just like the, the other one, just a smaller version, right? Okay, so it same, is, same it's approach. Kakiage, yeah. Not as many vegetables. This is somewhat lighter, I'd say, as they hit the oil frying, too. Right, it's just a little bit more simple. Simple flavor? Yeah, yeah. The challenger's is going to be much more complex. She's right? even got matsutake mushrooms. You, you never know. Uh, a simple approach sometimes is the right way. It accentuates the flavor of clams good, a bit better. Good point. So I'd, I'd really like to compare these two, to be honest. Uh, you don't know until you actually try them. Well, tasters will have first crack, and how about this one? Oh, is this what I think it is? Oh. This is like very province style, like provincial, right? At least appearance-wise. Oh, yeah. we call it salad. Okay, and using the circle molds, and this is the one the assistant mistakenly put on the shelves. Right. Oh. Now, if we can swing over and check out the Iron Chef here. Okay. He's putting the clams into the chili wow, soup here. Wow, look at that. This is, uh, this is the big finale. Hot Spicy Sejuan Fair coming to the fore. All right, here we go. This, is, this will determine the outcome of the Putting game. a fiery finish on the clams here. Oh, this is great. Chen getting to the heart and soul of his cooking. The heat is on. <laughs> Hot and spicy stir-fried clams with some garlic shoots in there, too. Yeah, some long onions, garlic as well, like you mentioned. Garlic okay. sprouts, scallions, and red chili pepper in there. Oh, that's, can you smell mm, that? Looking to find favor with the flavor of this one. Well, I don't want to kind of uh, go for a wander over there. Mm, it is smelling wonderful over here. Uh, Oh, yeah, Sounds wonderful's great. an understatement. I'm telling you, that's amazing. Now, take a look at this. The challenger's got the buckwheat noodles. Soba noodles. Green tea flavor. Oh, take, no a, take a look. Yeah, I didn't notice them before. No, I think this is the first time we've actually seen this. Cha soba, most likely to be used as a garnish. That's what one would think, sure. Can't imagine directly combining these with clams. <laughs> no, wouldn't wouldn't think so. Oh, 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 right, check, whoa, what's, what's going on over there? What was that? It's raining. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> the kitchen stadium was leaking. <laughs> was that like a fountain? Water? Unbelievable. <laughs> Had some sort of splashdown on the challenger. Side. We'll see if we can find out what that was all about. It seems okay for now, though. Yeah. Oh, we got some uh, trefoils added to the rice here. Oh, yes, uh, clam rice. Right here on Takemasa's side, oh, this one. Doesn't that look good? Ah, oh, wow. look at that. Another tasty looking effort. Yes. Reporting from the deluge on the challenger side, a faucet on one of the water lines just came off, causing them to man the pups. Unbelievable. <laughs> and how they figure? I, okay, I guess they just turned it off. Now look at the Iron Chef here. Go. He's added shark fins. Man just. alive, look at that. Uh -huh. oh, shark fins. Taking this one to exquisite heights. Kusan? Yes. Getting back to the cooking, the ingredients in the Iron Chef's walk are minced shallots, chili pepper, clams, scallions, Chinese rice wine, and shark fins. All right, thanks, and we'll want to find out what the tasters think of that clams and shark's fin combo, and now the challenger here, this salad. And Cuisan? Yes. Yeah, one more thing in the bowl, the challenger has lettuce, daikon radish, radish sprouts, western radish, asparagus, and watercress. Apparently, it's a salad. Okay, but no clams in it so far. Yeah. Gotta get the clams worked That's in here. Someone's gonna say No too. clams? Without clams will not, not count, as it won't clear the theme requirement. Right, this wouldn't, uh, this wouldn't be an actual dish. In that case. Well, Kondagao said the clams would come in right at the end for her, so we'll see if she's got a plan for that. And here she is preparing servings of her rice with clams in it. They were at it just a few moments ago. 
And I tell you, that rice dish does look great. Oh, yeah. That one might be a big hit and win her some points in the tasting. And now she's adding some shredded dried seaweed, and that'll add elements of both flavor and texture to this one. Still late in the day, and what about trying to get some clams to go with her salad over there? That is a concern, yeah. Not really sure what's happening. Got about a buck twenty left on the clock, cutting it close. If she's going to do it, we'll have to see. And now Chen bringing them off down and out. The Sejuan style stir fried clams with shark's fin and a fiery finish to this one. Fukuzan? Yes. About the challenger salad, I'm told that cooked clams will go on top. I okay. Thought so. That makes sense. All right. All right. One minute and now a minute to go. The final 60 seconds. Challenger Yoshiko Takemasa, a woman who's made it in a man's world. And there's her salad getting up close on it. And now here she goes. All right. There we are. The clams going in right at the end in the last minute of this one. And the soba's also in there. Green tea soba with the salad. At the bottom. There, okay. there hidden underneath. There's soba below and pieces of clam meat are going to be put right on top of that. 30 seconds left now. And what a stirring performance turned in in this battle by challenger Takemasa. And here a scan of the dishes produced by Iron Chef Chen. Pushed today by this woman. Chen learning the hard way. You can't take the ladies lightly. His first two encounters with female challengers. Losing them before coming back to score a couple of wins. And look at him. Sweat soaked. Needing liquid replenishment. What a workout it's been. Takemasa's been the force. Final seconds tick down. And that's it. The cooking's done. The short neck clam battle is over. So, how was the hour? Mm, I'm not uh, entirely happy about my dishes. Huh? Mm, they're not up to my standard. Oh, no, really? The biggest problem was that the clams were all too small. Oh, I see. I mean, you know, no meat, uh, not much meat in them. Hmm. Uh, I couldn't get it, couldn't get it right at all. So your dishes aren't quite what you expected? No. Mm -mm. No. So no, no win predictions for this thing? No, 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 out of the question. No. Mm. No. Wow, well, if that's true, I'm sorry to hear no, that. No, that's it, she's being modest. It, she's oh, yeah? being modest. It doesn't matter whether the clams were small or not. Uh -huh. She did a great job. No worries. How'd the time go for you? Well, uh, the clams were smaller than I expected. <laughs> you thought so, too, huh? So I picked the larger ones, uh, and I had to shift gears halfway through. Oh? Changing strategies. Huh. Uh, they were so tiny, yeah. Okay. But you know, clams make great broth. Uh, yeah. So I tried to take advantage of uh, that in, in all my dishes. Uh -huh. I don't know. Should be all right. Challenger Takemasa is offering five dishes. First, clams marinated in miso and vinegar. It also features zuiki, taro potato stems. Their crispy texture is a nice contrast with the soft clams. Citrus juice harmonizes all the elements. Second, soba salad with clams. The buckwheat noodles are green tea flavored. The greens dressed with oil and citrus juice actually work to season the clams and the noodles. Clam soup, it's a Japanese style bouillabaisse base combining lobster and clams. The powerful yet subtle use of the broth made from clams is what accentuates the flavor of the stew. Fourth, tempura of clams and vegetables. The clams become surprisingly juicier the more one chews them. The vegetables, all deep fried together, add to the texture. A straight ahead look, but definitely a dish with depth. Last is clam rice, another straightforward offering. The rice was cooked in clam broth, doubling down on the theme ingredient. The use of dried seaweed adds an accent in texture and controls the overall aroma. Iron Chef Chen is also offering five dishes. First, clams marinated in Chinese liqueur. Clam broth, garlic, and chili pepper are also used to flavor. Absorbing all these, the clams have been transformed into something never tasted before. Second, leek and clam soup. In addition to the leeks, it also has potatoes. The sweetness of leeks is a superb match with the natural flavor of clams in the soup. Third, Chinese-style tempura, something Chen has rarely tried, with a mix of clams and vegetables. The sweetness of clams and carrots is reinforced by the use of celery leaves in the deep-fried offering, while his use of Chinese spices adds a new dimension. Clam salad with Chinese herbs. The presentation style takes a page from that of Iron Chef French Sakai's. The firm texture of clams is celebrated and enjoyed together with zucchini and bell peppers. Last is spicy clams and shark's fin. A Szechuan finish with the twist. The clams not overpowered at all by the butter used to stir fry, nor the texture of shark fins.
The Don of the Kansai, Toshiro Kandagawa, has developed a number of outstanding chefs. And though men do dominate the world of professional cooking in Japan, some women have risen to the top tiers of the field, including this Kandagawa-trained chef from Shikoku, today's challenger Yoshiko Takemasa. She's here for a kitchen stadium culinary clash with Iron Chef Chinese Chen Kenichi. Chairman Kaga unveils the theme ingredient, one he had to dig deep for, asari, short-necked clams. Southern style home cooking challenger Takemasa comes in at the finish with five dishes. Iron Chef Chen completes a fabulous fivesome of his own. And now the moment of truth, tasting and judgment. On the panel today for the short neck clam battle are film director Nagisa Oshima, actress Mayuko Takata, and culinary critic Asako Kishi. First, the dishes of challenger Takemasa. You were spending a lot of time on the miso. It's not as overpowering as it may look. Refreshing. Among the crispy vegetables, the clams come out. And the more I chew, the more flavors I'm experiencing. I like this. It's a very soothing salad. Mm. And the use of green tea soba is very interesting. But you should have seasoned the soba a bit more. You needed to do more than just clump them together. It's interesting, yeah. But the elements are not quite harmonized, I'd have to say. And now Takemasa preparing the servings of her clam stew. The soup is just wonderful. All the seafood has contributed to heighten the flavor. It's good. Oh, you can call this Japanese booyah base. Very nice. The broth of the clam is effective. A really sophisticated flavor. I know this was the only solution you had. <laughs> but I must say that the clams are sort of buried among all the other elements. The sweetness of the corn is quite strong. It's good, I think, but... The sweetness of the corn is almost too strong, don't you think? There's a really nice aroma of seafood. And with the dried seaweed on top, it's a complete seafood dish. Mm. I just wish you had added a lot more clams to this. <laughs> If you were going to lose in this battle, that must have been the reason why. While I was watching you, I was going in my mind, add more, more! <laughs> and now up the dishes of Iron Chef Chen. Mm, nice. It's good. Mm, very good. You cook the clam just lightly first and then marinated it. Very skillful. Mm. The clam is plump with a rice wine and other flavors. The spiciness really adds to this chilled appetizer. It's truly a perfect appetizer, I think. You used potatoes in this. Uh, where did they go? They eventually melted. Oh, melted, I see. But, you know, uh, clams and potatoes really match very ah. well. So without clams, you wouldn't have been able to create this. Not this delicious. It's very good. The clams really help the potatoes. This isn't tempura. It's more yes, like a dumpling. Yes, yes. <laughs> There's too much batter in between the ingredients, I think. I was looking for where the clams are in this until I finished mostly all of it. <laughs> this is not something I'll go crazy over. <laughs> The herbs in Chinese food. Well, I know you might be puzzled with this, but uh, you see, uh, it's the coriander that uh, makes this a Chinese dish. This almost looks like an Italian dish, but it's a completely Chinese dish. <laughs> Very good. Today you prepared all your dishes like, like appetizers. <laughs> Okay, here's Chen serving the finale his hot and spicy stir-fried clams. 
I can enjoy this even without the shark fins. <laughs> Today, clams are the main ingredient, so um, I let the clams win out over the shark's fin this time. Really? The clams are winning in this dish. Over the shark's fin, yeah. Yes, it's the broth. By putting them up against shark's fins, the clams actually dominate a finely seasoned dish. Short-necked clams, time now for the panel to shell out a verdict. なぜ女性が少ないのか今日の挑戦者の作品を見て日本の料理界は女性の持つ繊細さにもっと目を向けるべきだそう思いますそれでは発表します the challenger has repressed her femininity in order to get ahead in her profession, but her dishes today truly reflecting her feminine quality. Challenger Takemasa, maybe time to say she's the best chef in Kochi Prefecture regardless of gender. Iron Chef Chan not letting up in the least. Who takes it? Whose cuisine reigns supreme? It's the Iron Chef Chan doing the job, taking care of business, bouncing back the second female challenger brought in by Kandagawa. A tougher than expected theme ingredient still, Takemasa showcasing her abilities, but the Iron Chef doing her one better today. He stays on a roll, he even seems to be getting stronger. Iron Chef Chinese Chen Kenichi. Yeah.